Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're diving into one of the latest releases from Yes Welder, and that is their MIG 250 Pro. We're gonna talk about what sets this machine apart, we're gonna talk about how to set this machine up, and then we're gonna do some welds on it. So let's dive right in. Yes Welder's MIG 250 Pro runs MIG, Lift TIG, stick and gasless flux MIG. Now MIG is obviously the powerhouse that this machine does and you can run on manual mode, which is similar to a lot of the welders out there where you're gonna individually choose all of the input values for the piece you're welding. This machine though also offers Synergic MIG, which is perfect for beginners and new users, and it automatically will set up the machine for you. You're just gonna have to put in the values of what you're welding, the wire you're using, and the machine will actually figure out how to run the amps, volts, wire feed speed, all that for you so you don't have to worry about it. This machine welds steel, stainless steel, and aluminum. Now, this machine is really shines with aluminum because on aluminum, you can actually pulse MIG. Pulse is a feature in welding, most of the time used by TIG. Now this machine, you can do it in pulse MIG on aluminum. Pulse is where if you're welding thin material, if you have critical joints that really need precision, what Pulse does is it sets a high value and a low value of amps, and it machine pulses between the two values. What this does is it controls the heat better. It allows you to control the puddle better and ultimately get a better looking weld, a more precise weld, and that is really pushing the boundaries. So what Yeswelder did is they made it available to do pulse in aluminum on their MIG 250 Pro, and I'm pretty stoked to dive into that portion, especially. When you order Yes Welder's MIG 250 Pro, you get the machine itself. Now this is a lightweight, it's only coming in at 20 pounds. It's a fairly small package size of a welder, so it's really portable. You can take it on a job site, you can leave it in your home uh, garage workshop, you can move it around pretty easily, which makes it really nice. Also when you get it, you get the gas hose, you get the ground clamp, you get the electrode clamp for stick welding, and you get the MIG gun. Now if you want a lift TIG, you can order the lift TIG torch from yeswelder.com, and if you want to pulse aluminum, you can order their proprietary spool gun from yeswelder.com. So let's take a look at that spool gun because that's what we're going to be getting into. Spool guns are very important when you are welding aluminum. Because of the softness of aluminum and the aluminum wire, asking aluminum wire to go all the way from the machine through the liner and out the gun is kind of a lot for a metal like aluminum that's a lot softer than steel. So what happened a while ago is welders figured out that if you put the spool of aluminum wire on the gun itself, it only has to travel from here to here before it comes out of the end of the gun, rather than from your machine all the way through your liner and then out the gun. So if you're gonna be doing a lot of aluminum welding, a spool gun is an absolute necessity. These get set up, the basic principles are the same, but it's a little different, so we're gonna go through that as well. But before we do that, let's go to the front digital display of the MIG 250 Pro. We're gonna hook the leads up and go through the upgraded front panel. All right, we're gonna hook the machine up right now to MIG weld aluminum while the machine is off. Always make sure the machine is off before you hook up anything or disconnect anything for safety reasons. So we have the ground clamp and we're gonna go into the negative. We're gonna take the spool gun and put it into this right there. And we are going to take the trigger connection, keeping in mind the notch, and put it underneath. So as we can see, we have a very nice upgraded digital display here on the front that gives you all the information that you need. Up here in the top left, we have the welding wire diameter that we can choose. We have two tier 4T trigger. We have our weld mode. So this is gonna be going between manual MIG, Synergic MIG, Lift TIG, and Stick. Spool gun, on or off. This is going to be, we're gonna get into that, but that's when we actually get the spool gun going. We're gonna click it into spool gun mode so it knows when we're running Synergic MIG 
that we're running off a spool gun and not a regular weld gun. We're gonna choose our gas, CO2, a mix, totally argon, or flux. Inching, which is going to, if you're setting up for regular MIG, that is going to feed the wire through when you initially install it. And then of course, our awesome pulse mode. We have our two dials here to change our wire feed speed amps and our volts. Very easy to use front panel. I love that you can see everything right away. You're not digging through sub menus to see what's going on. And when you're welding, this will actually change to show you the live values. What we're gonna do now, keep in mind, this is like a MIG roll of wire where you kind of have to keep tension on it the whole time or it's going to unwind on you and be totally useless which is kind of finicky. All right, first things first, let's get the spool cage open. All right, so we're gonna look at the direction the wire's coming off on, right? So the wire's wrapping around this side and then kicking out that way. And that's how we're gonna want it. We want the wire to feed around and through the gun this way, not that way. If we're going this way, it's gonna kink right here and jam. So we want it to feed this way. So we're going to hold our thumb on it, take the end out, to feed this through. The tension is off. I'm going to feed it through the drive roller. Put the tension on. Now once we put the tension on, we can let go. Now we're going to finish putting the tension on the roll itself. And there we go. Now this is ready to roll. All right, so here we're in manual MIG, but we wanna be in pulse mode for aluminum. So what we're gonna do is click over to Synergic because when we're in pulse, we have to be in Synergic. Turn our pulse on. We're gonna tell the machine we have the spool gun attached. So we're gonna click that on. We're gonna to check to make sure that we're running 100% argon because that's the gas used for aluminum welding in MIG. And now we are going to set our wire feed speed our volts, plus or minus three on that, and we're ready to go. versatile MIG machine from Yes Welder. MIG 250 Pro coming in, being able to do steel, stainless steel, aluminum, manual mode, synergic mode, and pulse on aluminum. Really bringing you a lot of quality and options in one package. For more information on Yes Welder, the MIG 250 Pro, and their other products, please visit yeswelder.com. And until next time, enjoy welding with Yes Welder.